Today I want to invite you to uh, come over our job site and I want to specify the details we're doing here. Up behind me there's a very large warehouse where we're conducting a controlled demolition. The building does contain a small amount of asbestos, but we're doing the demolition with the asbestos intact. Uh, in these situations, basically, you could demolish the building with asbestos in it if there's any integrity in the foundation, the building is structurally unsound, or like as you see around here, there's no one, we're in the middle of nowhere, we just demolish the building with the asbestos in it. But of course, there's a lot of protocols, regulations that we have to follow, local and federal. Now what we have here, is half a warehouse and what we're doing is these trucks we have a prepping station on the other side of the building where that truck comes in and the asbestos company comes and sort of lined the truck with a special plastic that the EPA consists the EPA considers it a form to hold the asbestos in now after the trucks are prepped in line they come over here where you see them standing and here we have the debris, the yellow debris is the asbestos containing material and of course they are sorted from the meadows and everything else, the concrete which they're probably uh, going to grind sometime later on. But basically we have a gentleman spraying the water, we have all these water misters or foggers you want to call it, spraying, we have them all around the foundation and they're wetting the material so whenever we do a demolition there is no dust in the air so we have the trucks coming in and out the guy spraying the water and the foggers and now how do we know there's no dust around the building and it's safe for the people to work in well first they have the Tyvek shoes the respirators and also we have this little gadget over here this is a 0.8 micron filter which we have scattered all around the building and uh, what we have here is basically it collects all the dust particles, any fibrous material that's in the air and we have a reading every day and by the standards that we follow we see if it passes or fails and then should continue the demolition. So every day we have to take an air sample and we read it at the end of the day so we can continue the process. And basically that's what we're doing here. As you take a look, get out of your way a little bit. And now that you know what we're doing here, I invite you to visit our website.